Hey girls, welcome back. So today we are talking about five closet essentials, five wardrobe must-haves that I recommend you have in your closet for spring 2022. This list is not meant to be exhaustive. It's just five things I thought we could just easily go through. You could check and see if you have it in your closet. If you do, an easy way to style it, I will give you. And yeah, if not, I'll list ideas down below and I just thought it would be fun, as always. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Give me ideas down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and let's get started. First wardrobe essential for spring is going to be white jeans or cream jeans. So I do have these white Abercrombie skinny jeans. I tried these on for you in my spring outfits formula video and I will insert a clip here. If you haven't checked that video out yet though, you definitely should. Um, white jeans are definitely an essential for spring and it's up to you what style you want. In trying these on, I actually realized I don't love the white skinny jeans anymore. So I am going to be listing these on my Poshmark. And what I did instead was I recently picked up these cream jeans. These are an ultra high rise straight ankle. And I also just posted a video on seven ways to style these. But I think you should have any white or cream jean that fits your style. It might be a dad jean, it might be a skinny jean, it might be a straight jean. Whatever jean you have in your closet that that is white or cream, now's the time to pull it out. If you're looking for a fresh new pair, I will definitely link these down below with some other styles from Abercrombie that I think would also be great for this season. Now, if you haven't watched those other videos, then you wouldn't know styling or sizing, sorry. So these I picked up in my normal true size. I did try them on in a zero. I did try them on in a size down and they fit, but they were just a little bit too snug for a straight jean. So true size for these ultra high rise straight jeans. I will let you know that I tried on the Abercrombie 90s ultra high rise straight jeans in my true size and then those I could have sized down. So I'll put all that in the description box for you down below because I know it can get very tricky with sizing and I would say I get asked a lot of questions about Abercrombie jeans sizing. But that is spring wardrobe essential number one. Okay, moving on to the second wardrobe staple for spring, I'm gonna say white sneakers. I have two pairs of white sneakers here for you. The first pair are my Madewell sneakers and <laughs> As I just went to grab them, I realized they are quite dirty, but they'll wipe off very, very easily. I've had these sneakers, I'm going to say like three years. I've had them a while. If you followed me or watched my channel in the last year, you've seen these sneakers many, many times. I will pop up some pictures of me wearing them but they are true to size. They're always available and they are incredibly comfortable. I always just wear a little no-show like sock with them, but I can wear them for hours and be so comfortable. So if I was gonna recommend one white sneaker, it would be these. Um, I think they have them where you can get different color additions also, like the stripe could be a different color, but if you just want an all white, they are absolutely perfect. In my opinion, I haven't obviously tried every white sneaker and they run around $80. So that's really good if they're going to last for years. Now the second pair of white sneakers I have, these are, I bought these off of Amazon and you can see they're kind of more of, I don't want to say a cream, but they're just like a brighter white, I guess I would say. And then they have this like coral and blue detail on the tongue. I think when I look at these online, they do come in some different color options. These, I, I don't even think I've had these quite a year yet, but I really like these. These are also true to size for me, which is eight and a half in sneakers. And they are also super comfortable. I've worn them with a little sock. I've wore them for a walk once with no socks because someone was curious if they would hurt without a sock. And the walk was probably 
close to an hour and my feet were fine. So these are the two white sneakers that I would recommend. I haven't tried, there's a lot of white sneakers out there. I haven't tried like the Nike, those Nike ones you see all over the place. I haven't tried Veja, um, which if you have, let me now know down below because the white and pink ones are so cute. Um, but I have tried like cheaper ones like from Target and you can tell the difference. I'm just going to let you know. As someone who walks a lot and if I know I'm going to go somewhere like a theme park or my husband and I are just going to be on our feet for like a long time, um, going to like an art festival or something, like I'm going to wear sneakers like this and know that my feet aren't going to hurt at the end of the day. And unfortunately, if I wore a pair from Target, that wouldn't be the case. I love Target. I'm just saying certain things like white sneakers, I think you you got to invest in them a little bit. Spring wardrobe essential number three is going to be a denim jacket. Yes, I know. If you just watched my video on the cream jeans, I kind of was a little bit like uh, about denim jackets. <laughs> but it is important to have one in your closet. I'm gonna actually show you three that I have. I'm gonna start off with this one from Abercrombie. This is a light wash denim jacket. It's a little bit of a longer and boxier fit. So if you did watch my last video, you saw this is gonna be better to fit over a long sleeve top. It will allow for the sleeves to fit underneath and that's really important to know. I got this in a size medium just for size reference and I haven't looked yet but I'm hoping that it's still available or I'll just find something similar for you guys that's similar to this style. I'm not it doesn't say what it's called on here but I'll figure it out. The second one I'm going to talk about is this jacket. This is by the brand Topshop. This is also light wash, but this is definitely more fitted. Um, so this is not going to work well over a long sleeve. Maybe if it was a fitted long sleeve, but not a balloon top, as we saw in my last video. But this goes very well over a little dress, tank top, and skirt something along those lines. And then the third one, I wanted to throw this in there because I love this. I actually wore this this morning to the farmer's market over like an athleisure outfit. So this is an American Eagle denim jacket. It has a frayed hem at the bottom and then it has a hoodie, which really makes it super casual, super laid back, where I feel like I can throw this over anything. I think it was last weekend we were actually out and this just happened to be in my car and I even wore it with jeans and did a denim on denim look which I wouldn't usually do but it was this or nothing and it looked pretty cute so I really feel like this could go with anything I mean not the dress I'm wearing so probably not anything but just wanted you to have some different options I know last time I looked American Eagle has a jacket very similar to this because I have had this for over a year and oh for sizing purposes this is a small and the top shop one top shop sizing is different because it's a European brand so it's actually a US 6 which is very big for me I never wear a 6 and I remember when I bought this I bought the 4 I bought it from Nordstrom online and it was way too small so I did size up to the 6 so I I feel like that's almost sizing up two. I don't know. It gets a little confusing. That's it for category number three. The fourth wardrobe essential for spring 2020 is going to be denim shorts. Now I have a whole video that I put up in the last month where I tried on every single pair of denim shorts that I own. So if you haven't seen that, check it out because today I'm just going to talk about two pairs. The first pair I'm going to talk about are these Levi's 501 shorts. I love these. They still make them. I saw them in the mall this past week. You can definitely get them. I think like you can get them with multiple retailers, so I'll link what I can down below. I get these. I just want to double check. Yeah, these are a 26, which is my true size in shorts and love the little frayed bottoms they are so so cute so these are more of like a medium to darker wash and then 
my other absolute favorite pair are these from Abercrombie. These are the boyfriend mid rye shorts and this is quite possibly the only mid rise item I have in my closet at all because everything I have is high rise but I bought these last year didn't think I would like how they fit and I love them so as you can see they're a little bit of a lighter wash I'm waiting for them to bring these back in multiple washes because I'm gonna buy them all I'm not even kidding they're that good right one more left the fifth and final wardrobe essential for spring 2022 is going to be a floral dress i'm not crazy obsessive with florals like when springtime comes i know a lot of people like to buy florals i don't buy a lot i'll buy like a dress or two each year i only have a couple floral tops um so floral however it is part a part of your style but i'm just saying dress for the point of this video obviously i'm wearing a floral dress um i shared this in an abercrombie try on i shared it in a reel that i made into an abercrombie short or made into a youtube short it is such a great dress for um i'll just i'll insert a different clip but it's such a great dress for springtime for like a date night maybe it's like a wedding guest also but then I also wanted to share this Abercrombie dress that I bought last year so I bought this last year and wore it and then I just already wore it again this year to a gender reveal last weekend um obviously it's old but Abercrombie is starting to come out with some floral dresses for springtime so I'm gonna link some ones down below that I like um I'm wearing a small in both of these just for reference this exact one I can link for you and then I'll just share some other this is like a spaghetti strap dress um down below for you as well those are my five closet essentials for spring 2022 let me know your closet essentials down below something you feel that has to be part of your spring wardrobe obviously there are a lot of things i didn't say i wanted to keep it short and sweet um yeah we'll leave it there for today any videos you want to see, please let me know down below. Um, it gets really difficult to know like what you guys want to see. So I try to go off of like common things that people search for on YouTube and like to know it to kind of get ideas. But if there's something you want to see in particular, please let me know. I'll do my best to film it for you. And I'll see you girls really, really soon.